What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I have a brand new how-to video. Today I'm going to be introducing you guys to coding in HTML. Now before we begin, be sure to hit that like button down below, and if you guys do want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments. And with that being said, let's get started. So have you guys ever been on a website and wondered how was this website made? How did they actually make this website? Because this website was built from the ground up, and it's done using something called HTML and CSS. Now these are the basics you know, languages used to make websites. There's of course other languages as well, but today we're going to be talking about HTML. So what is HTML? HTML starts for hypertext markup language, and it is a coding language used to make the backbone of websites. So if you look at this website, the pictures and the text and the headings, they were made using HTML. HTML. But if you guys look at the colors and the centering and the borders, that was all made using CSS. So in this video, we're going to be learning about HTML and learning about the basics. Like I said, this is going to be a basic, basic, like white girl basic tutorial. We're going to learn the very basics of how to code. And if you guys do enjoy this video, I'm going to try to cover as much information as possible and maybe even turn this into a series. So with that being said, let's begin. Now, the first thing you need is going to be a text editor. We're just going to use Notepad, which comes with all Windows computers. And we're going to make a file. So when you first actually make an HTML file, you have to make sure that you declare it as an HTML document. So the first thing we have to do is declare this document as an HTML document. And to do that, we have to use the less than sign, exclamation mark, type in doc type in all capitals, type in HTML and close it. That is what you have to start off every single HTML document with. Now, when you're coding in HTML, if you guys have ever seen code before, you're going to notice that there's lots of brackets and different like punctuation marks and stuff everywhere, which makes the code look all confusing. That is called syntax. So in HTML, when you make something and you want to declare it as a certain type, so for example, if you want to make a paragraph and declare the text as a paragraph, you have to use a paragraph tag. Now tags are done in the syntax of using a less than and greater than sign like so. So for example, to start a paragraph, you would go, you would do the sign, you put a P and you'd close it, and then you would type in your paragraph, which would be hello world. And then you'd close that by using the same tag, but having a backslash. So you'd use the less than sign backslash P greater than sign. And that lets the program know that hello world is a paragraph. Now, before we even start having output, what we have to do is make the actual frame of the HTML document because it's broken up into three parts. The first part is declaring that the ent entire document is an HTML document. So we're going to use the HTML tags. So you want to go ahead, type in less than HTML and greater than. And to close it, we are going to type in less than backslash HTML greater than. And all our code is going to be in this area because this entire area in between these two tags is declared as HTML. Now within this document, there's two parts. There's the head and the body. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a head opening tag and a head closing tag. And we're also going to create a body opening tag and a body closing tag. I'm sorry if this is a bit confusing right now, but it's all going to make sense in about two minutes. So basically we put our HTML code in the head and body, like head and body sections of the HTML document. Now the head usually contains, you know, all of the information in the background. So the titles and the scripts and whatnot, it's like your brain, it's like an actual head and the body kind of is used to put in things where you can actually see the output on the browser. It's like the actual body and most things will go in the body, but the head is actually important for a couple of things. And as you can see, we're declaring these things by using these tags. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and declare a title in the head part of the document. So we're going to go ahead and to declare a title, of course, you have to use the title tags like so. And as you can see, you know, most of HTML is just memorization because they're just, you know, it's about learning the tags and how to use them. So inside of the title, we're going to put in website like so. And then in the body, we're going to put in a paragraph. So like I said, a paragraph is done by using the P tag. So you're going to go ahead, make two P tags, an opening one and a closing one. Oops. There we go. And inside this paragraph, we're going to just type in whatever we want. So we're going to put in hello world. 
Okay, so this code is looking really good right now, but the only mistake I see is I forgot to include the less than and greater than sign in the doc type HTML tags. So we're gonna just go ahead and add that. And there we go, we have our tags, and inside these tags we have the elements needed to actually show the code. So what we should see is website and hello world. So we're going to go ahead, go to file, save as, make sure when you save this file, it is not a text document, but it is saved as all files type, and the extension is .html. We're gonna click save, replace the file, and we have it saved now. Now to open it up, just go to the file location, double click on the file, and it's going to open up in Google Chrome. And as you can see, we have the title, which is right here, website, and we have hello world. You just coded in HTML and got your first output. Now we're gonna learn about some other tags we can use to make different types of text right now. So we're gonna go back into our notepad document. Now the P or paragraph text isn't the only type of text you need. There's also a bunch of other tags such as header tags. So headers are what they say they are. They are types of title tags. So for example, you can have a H1 tag, almost said H1, but it's an H1 tag like so. And you can type in this is H1. And you can also have H2, H3, and it goes up all the way to H6. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'm not going to do all of them, but I'll show you guys H1. I'm going to show you guys H3 and I'll show you guys H6. And as you can see, um, the sizes definitely make a big difference and you guys can choose which ones you want to use. So there we go. H1, H3, H6, save that. We're going to refresh the document. And as you can see, H1 is the biggest and then H3 and then H6. So now we know some elements that we can use in HTML and we can use them to actually make a blog post maybe. So a blog post usually has a title, right? So we're going to use the H2 and we are going to go ahead and actually create a blog title. So maybe we can do like blog post. That is the title of our blog post. And after the title, uh, usually there's a subheader, which can be a bit smaller, which I'll make an H3. And I can put in, this is the subheader. And we're gonna close that with the H3 tag. Don't forget the forward slash. And then after that, we're going to have some paragraph text. And then after the subheader, there's usually like some actual paragraph text. So we're gonna go ahead make some paragraph tags and we're going to add text 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 and just copy and paste that so that we have some actual text there we go that's good enough save that refresh the document and it kind of does look like a blog post now as, as you can see it's a bit bland because we haven't used css which is used to actually add colors and different elements to it but we have the structure being built okay so as you can see now we have this mediocre blog post. It looks kind of like a blog post, but usually you also have images within websites. So how do you add an image? So we're going to go ahead and look for a picture. I don't know what to look for. Let's look up. I don't know. Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump image. Let's go ahead. Look that up. I apologize for my browser being slow. We're going to go ahead and go into Google Images. We're going to find a dapper image. Oh, this is perfect. Actually, it's a bit too big. Let's just go with this one. He looks pretty clean. Um, we're going to click on view image. And now we're going to go back into our HTML. So how do you add an image? You use the image tag, which is IMG. So you do this and then you'd have a closer image tag like so. But how do you tell the actual program where the image goes or where the image is from? So once you have your image tags made after the first image tag, you have to put a space and put source or SRC equals and in quotations have the link to the image not to the website to the actual image and you're going to put that in like so we're going to save that we're going to close this and we're going to refresh our site and there's the man himself okay perfect now we have an image now say that you want to have this image actually lead somewhere so if i click on it it'll lead to a different website it might lead to my youtube channel how do you do that okay well let's go back into our code once again, you have to use another tag. So another tag and the final tag in this video you're going to be learning about is the A tag. So the A tag is used to redirect you to a different site or area if you click on a certain text or picture, like a menu. So for example, say I wanted someone, okay, let's just make a quick header uh, and let's call it click here like so 
All right, we have our header. If we were to save that, as you can see, it says click here. If we click, it doesn't lead anywhere. So how do you actually have it lead you somewhere? You make a tags. So within the header tags, you are going to have a tags. It's kind of like when you're doing math and you have multiple brackets. It's the same thing. Everything within the a tag can be clicked on now. So we have the a tags done. Now, after the first a tag, you have to put space and h r e f equals quotation marks. And with this syntax, you put in the website where you want to redirect the user to. So I'm just going to put my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash iovo. So now we have the text click here, which is a header three, and we have a tags. So if you click on it, it's going to take me to my YouTube channel. And we're going to quickly refresh that. And if we click on it, good glory, it actually works. And we're now on my YouTube channel. So that's pretty cool as well. And you can do the same thing to images. So if I was to put this image and surround it by a tags, like so, and then in this first a tag, put in href equals quotation, quotation, and put in a website, you know, maybe google.com. Now, if I click on Donald Trump, it takes me to google.com. And as you can see, oh, wait, what? There we go. There we go. Okay, it works. And as you can see, you know, with these elements, you can build different things, you can overlap them, and you can see that websites aren't as complicated as they look, right? We have the basics down already. You can make a pretty crappy website like with, with the elements you know, but there's so many other elements you can learn. But that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comments, but that's about it. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, and as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iroflo, and I'm signing out.